Hi everyone, this is Khaled. Today we're gonna see um, a demonstration for the new Xbox X, uh, One exploit that have been announced by the Xbox One research team. Um, this comes uh, today as they uh, mentioned that there is um, a new method for gaining user and kernel level code execution on System OS. So uh, this uh, is currently on the latest update, and um, what you're gonna do is that you need to Ensure that your Xbox account type is configured as no barriers, means that it's auto logging and there is no password prompt. Uh, also, you need to set your console as a home console for the account. You need to download an app called uh, Game uh, Script from the uh, store, and then you need to start this app to ensure that it's uh, the license downloaded and cached. Then, after that, you need to take your console offline to make sure that it cannot uh, like reach the internet, and you need to also as a uh, extra measure that you need to set manually the primary DNS address uh, to 127.0.0.1 um, and also they mentioned that you need like uh, a microcontroller or like some something like rubber ducky that to simulate um, our typing because there's a lot of typing will be involved so um, I'll be leaving uh, the news recap uh, link on the description down below but for now I wanted to uh, show you the proof of concept once we got that to that point. So I'm still uh, online. I'm trying to download some uh, Games on my account before I'm taking it uh, totally offline uh, But I got a chance to uh, download the game script app and also I am in position of uh, some sort of um, Device uh, similar to rubber ducky. This is a Biko ducky. This is like a, a, a modded or like open source uh, method that have been used to convert a uh, Pico uh, board to a Raspberry Pi Pico to a uh, rubber ducky similar thing so I will be leaving also a link on description on how to you can convert your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Pico to that, uh, uh, that to, to use it as a rubber ducky and also I'll be leaving um, the script um, for the rubber ducky also link on the description that you can copy it and paste it there so you need to follow the tutorial for the uh, the Pico Ducky, uh, but for now I set everything up. So um, today I'm just like wanna go through the demo that have been um, announced on the same link. So we will be um, running that now. So so now we'll be launching game script, and from there we will check um, the content. So we have here that game script uh, screen here. So if you try to um, Use a keyboard. I need to connect a normal keyboard down on the uh, on the device itself and try to type. So as you can see here, it's typing. Um, so what we're gonna do now is that we'll clear everything and then uh, I'll be connecting this uh, uh, Raspberry Pico, uh, which uh, containing the script to type it. So we'll measure the time now and we'll try to. Um, run the demo script to make sure that it's running on our Xbox so I will be disconnecting now my keyboard and then I'll be connecting the uh, Pico device so I set it as to run after delaying like a 10 seconds or so so now it's connected and it should start type after 10 seconds let's measure this out so as you can see here now it started to type the, um, the sample script, uh, the POC for the game script. So we'll wait until it that finish and then we can uh, check this script running.
So as you can see here now, it have completed typing all the script, uh, the POC script, and now we need to run that. So to run that, let's remove first the, the own screen keyboard, so you can press P to remove that. Um, to navigate inside this application, you need to hold the X button, and then it will show the windows that it's opening currently. So we have the game script window, and we have this option, uh, the, the windows window. So to navigate between both, uh, you need to press the RBLB. So either the RPLB, it will navigate between both. Uh, and to move the windows, you just like need to use the uh, left joystick. Uh, so you can move the window on any size. So we're moving now the game script window here. And then we'll press again the LB. I'm still keeping, uh, I'm holding the X button because if you let go, it will be focusing on that, that window. So now let's focus on the windows window and then we use the D-pad to um, open the uh, show code run window and we will be pressing the X button and then we also moving that uh, on the side here and let's also open the uh, console window so again we're pressing the X button then navigating to the windows and then we go down to the show console window so we have here the console window so now we need to run this application so uh, to run this POC we will be pressing again the X button then we we'll navigate to the code run and then we need to go down to run code once. So let's do that. And as you can see, the application, if you try to navigate or like do anything, the application in running mode now, so it's not like responding to anything. So you need to wait until to see uh, you get the results uh, displayed on the console window. It will take a little bit. So now we uh, can see the results which mention here the shell code return value is um, out of zeros and then 1337. So I believe this is just the BOC um, concept to just return this shell code, shell, uh, code uh, return value. Um, hopefully that we will get like something uh, better on that like running uh, some homebrews or something like that. So let's, let's wait and see. Um, and that's it for today. I uh, hope you like the video. Please if you do. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.